People are cancelling their GPT-4 subscription thanks to Claude 3 from Anthropic. Claude 3 from Anthropic, especially Claude 3 Opus, has been the talk of the town in the AI world. And that is primarily because a Claude 3 Opus is supposedly better than GPT-4 in the way people are expecting. And this is generally people's opinion and in this video I wanted to cover three different use cases two research result and one general opinion about why Claude 3 is better for that particular person. I would like to start with the LLM challenge that Andre Karpati has given. So what was the LLM challenge? The LLM challenge is that Andre Karpati sometime back published a video on tokenizers and Andre Karpati issued an LLM challenge to say that can you use LLM to take this video and then convert into a blog post or a book? Is it possible? And there are like multiple attempts people have done. And this particular example that we're going to see from Emmanuel Amison, who is currently working for Anthropico and also a very popular author, has decided to give a stab at this LLM challenge. And what they have done with their team is that they have taken the two hour, 13 minute video of Andre Karpati, converted that into a blog post in just one prompt. While it might sound very simple to say one prompt, the one prompt is not simply a one prompt. What they have done is they have taken multiple screenshots of the video with every five second interval and then they have transcribed the video, the audio of the video into text and they have converted the transcript into 24 different parts primarily for speed of processing and then they gave the transcript, the video screenshots and also two additional screenshots of Andre Karpati's blog post and Andre Karpati's code just so that Claude understands how Karpati writes and also how Karpati codes. With this information they gave a prompt which is quite detailed and very interesting and at the end of this we have got our Claude 3 Opus has given them a really good looking blog post and I'm going to show you first of all the prompt. The prompt is very detailed. So if you see the prompt, the prompt says this transcript is noisy. Please rewrite into an HTML format for a blog using the following guidelines. The output should be a valid HTML and then it goes on giving all the details including take the screenshots that they have given and add it in the relevant section. With this particular information, it finally gave them the blog post which you can see right now. So this is the blog post. This is completely created by Claude 3, but not with its own knowledge. It took the transcript of Andre Karpati's video. It took the screenshot of Andre Karpati's video, and then it created this amazing blog post, which ideally could be converted into a book and all from Claude 3, which is quite mind blowing at this point. The next one is from Rahul. Rahul is using Claude 3 to create an animation that looks like this. If you're familiar with the YouTube channel, three blue, one brown, you would know that this is the style of three blue one brown and this is from a library called Manim and I've tried Manim before Manim is not really very easy to write. What Claude 3 has done is Claude 3 has given the code for this to Rahul just from this particular prompt. The prompt is imagine the point of view of a neuron in a really large neural net. Think about what the neuron sees and feels. Write Manim code to animate what is seen and felt from the point of view of a neuron. And with a couple of tweaks, you could create this animation or Rahul could create this animation thanks to Claude 3. And this is going to completely explode for a lot of libraries that people usually do not feel very comfortable in writing. And this is, an, this is a brilliant example of how Claude 3 could be helpful in programming. The final example that I wanted to show you is from Simon Wilson. Simon Wilson is uh, not no is, is not a person who needs any introduction. Is a creator of dataset project which lets you explore datasets and also co-creator of Django, very popular Python library. So Simon Wilson has been testing out LLMs very extensively and had an issue in JavaScript and Claude 3 helped Simon Wilson create that, uh, like fix that issue and then gave the final result as well. And also according to Simon, GPT-4 was a little rusty in this thing. So Claude 3 could manage or has managed to do this and then give the final output, which was a code that could work. And uh, Simon Willison has a very interesting blog saying GPT-4 barrier has been breached 
I will link that blog post in the YouTube description for you to check it out. The fourth example that I wanted to highlight is from Eric Hartford, who has been a very popular LLM creator, has fine tuned a lot of models. Eric Hartford had a problem which Claude solved. Claude helped me get deep speed zero to working in ROC M. Rock M is to run large language models on AMD processors and Eric could solve this issue with Claude. There is a bug in the deep speed and Claude found it and fixed it. And somebody asked, how likely is that you would have been able to fix or find it without Claude's help? And Eric, without any hesitation said, completely impossible. This is another great example of Claude doing hardcore programming problems and people benefiting from this problem, especially Claude 3 Opus. Now I would like to turn your attention into two research results. One is Claude 3 Opus being really good on ML agent benchmark. When you compare it with GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo especially has scored 26 uh, average. You can see GPT-4 has scored 26.0. GPT-4 has scored 19.2, while Claude 3, the Opus model has scored 35.6. It has a lot of different tests. Primarily, one of the thing is to explore, can you use LLMs as AI research agents for tasks like, let's say, Kaggle. And you can see on a lot of different tasks, Claude 3 is exceptional when you compare it with GPT-4 and also GPT-4 Turbo. The next research that I wanted to highlight is Claude 3 Opus is better than GPT-4 on chemistry. I'm not sure how much of an impact it would have in the real world because you would see DeepMind models doing really extremely better on these kind of tasks. But you can see that Claude 3 Opus has been better than uh, GPT-4 in terms of the chemical or chemistry related tasks. So finally, before I wind up this video, I wanted to share a general opinion from Sharif Shamim. If you do not know who Sharif is, Sharif is the creator or founder of Lexica Art, one of the earliest websites that offered stable diffusion creations. Sharif is a very popular name in the LLM. And Sharif has said that I've been subscribed to ChatGPT for over a year now, but after trying Claude 3 for a week, I have decided to switch over. Claude feels more concise and just gives me better vibes. This isn't based off any concrete evils just my personal preference. And this concludes our video about how Claude 3 makes people feel that they're more connected to the LLM by giving concise, good, solid responses than GPT-4. I'm not sure if it is because GPT-4 has become worse or is it because Claude 3, which just got released, is better than GPT-4. But at the end of the day, I think it is fair for us to say that GPT-4 is not the moat anymore. Probably when GPT-5 or GPT-4.5 comes from OpenAI, this might change. But at this point, we have a lot of positive vibes for Claude 3 Opus. And I would like to hear your opinion about the model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.